Hi, my name's Wood Hawker, and I'm here to bring you this week in LaunchBox News. We want to know what it is that you guys want to experience when you load up LaunchBox. What it is you guys want from LaunchBox in the future. And the best way to do that is with a survey. And if we could get everyone to click the link in the description below and fill out the survey and tell us what it is that you're most excited for, that'll tell us what it is that we should work towards or what it is that Jason needs to put his time and effort into. And there's a lot of really cool things on this survey actually. And I want to go through a couple of them, but ultimately I want you guys to pick the things that you're most excited for. Me, being a stupid Australian, I like to have different versions of all my games. I like to have the PAL version and the NTSC version. So like for example, Maniac Mansion has two versions where in one you can put a hamster in the microwave, in the other one you can't put a hamster in the microwave. So I like to have both versions of the game. So being able to click on Maniac Mansion and have LaunchBox tell me do I want to play this version or this version of the game is way nicer than having two different versions next to each other or multiple versions of all these games next to each other filling up my library unnecessarily. So it'd be really cool just to have the one and be able to pick in between each time I wanted to play. So if I was to vote, it might be for that one or the nested filters so that if I felt like playing a platformer or a beat em up or any, really any kind of genre or game, I could scroll through via genres rather than have to scroll through Super Nintendo or NES and kind of see for myself where the beat em ups are. This would literally put them in a category for me, which I think is really cool as well. And now that I think about it, I'd probably prefer that over the multiple ROMs. Probably. The other cool one would be having LaunchBox for Android. These are my three. You guys pick what you want, but having LaunchBox for Android not only means that I could play ROMs on my phone and have them all categorized, which would be really cool for gaming old NES games on the go. That'd be really cool actually. But the other cool thing about that is it's just a ton of encoding, which means Jason's probably gonna go through hell having to do it. And that's just hilarious to me. No, I'm kidding actually, that sounds terrible. That's like the biggest, on the list of things to do, that'd be like the hardest one for him to do. So I don't know if I wanna give him a lot of work, but it would be kind of cool to game on the go. But of course, these are just a few things that I would like to get out of my personal launch box. You guys might like something completely different. This is your chance to have your say, so make sure to hit that link down below. It's like two questions, it'll take two seconds, and we'd really appreciate it. So last week I was here to tell you guys that update 7.5 had been released. Well, we're already at 7.6. This one isn't as big as the last one. It's mostly full of a ton of improvements and fixes, such as the startup video is not working on 32-bit systems and general performance improvements. For a full list, I'll have it above my face, but it's mostly just little tweaks that make the whole thing run a lot better. I'll also post all the improvements and fixes in the description down below, so if you were curious, they'll all be right there. Save me going through every single one when I probably don't even understand half of them. Critical SID's Critical Zone theme has been updated. It has a lot of performance improvements for the lower end systems and it has two new game views. There's also a new startup video and theme by Gorilla. We also have a couple more startup videos from other users as well. DC's Divers made this startup video. And then and then, are you ready, Shawn Michaels? Are you ready? Tony made a time to play the game startup video. Time to play the game. Time to play the game! <laughs> It's all about the game, and how you play it It's all about control And if you can take it, it's all about your debt And if you can pay it, it's all about pain And who's gonna make it? Which I, got, I gotta admit, I laughed pretty hard when I saw that. I'm a huge DX fan. DX was honestly the best thing to happen to WWE, like, ever. Like, not only back in the day, but the resurgence, like, 2005 or whenever it was, that was, like, the best thing to happen to wrestling in the last, like, 10 years before it. Was it 2005? Am I really getting that old? And all of these videos can be found in the new Big Box Startup Videos section in the forums, which is cool having them all in one place and not having to try to find them all the time like I did have to last week. And we have two new updated themes from James Baker, one for PlayStation 2 and one for Commodore 64. 
Like this, that's why emulating is so great is for things like Commodore 64, for example, because I don't know about you. I mean, power to you if you do still have a Commodore 64. When I first started collecting, I thought I'm gonna get everything. I bought a Commodore 64 and I very quickly realized I didn't have space for this thing. I didn't wanna play on this thing. I didn't use this thing. So emulating Commodore 64 and those kind of systems is perfect. That's exactly why I use LaunchBox. That's all this week for news, updates, improvements, fixes, anything that I can think about talking about. There are two things I wanna finish on though. Two, two thank yous. One's personal, one less personal. The first one is to the LaunchBox Patreons. A huge thank you to you guys for donating and helping out on LaunchBox. If you wanna to donate to LaunchBox and do the Patreon thing, the link is down below. Uh, Jason wanted me to pass on a huge thank you to you guys. So. Here it is, from Jason to me to you. And the final thing is straight from me to you. Last week was my first week on this channel and I was a little nervous. I was really excited to be a part of the team. It all happened really fast and then bang, I was on the channel and everyone was just really super supportive. The team at LaunchBox was really supportive and all of you guys in the comment section really supportive, really excited to see me on the channel. So for me to come on and be that excited and have everyone else around me be excited, it was just a really positive week for me, a really positive experience. And I wanna thank you guys, honestly, it really, really warmed my heart. So thank you for having me here and I'm looking forward to being here a lot more often. That's all for me guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, the links to everything are down below, and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Time to play the game! <laughs> it's all about the game, and are you play it? It's all about control, and if you can take it, it's all about your debt, and if you can pay it, it's all about pain, and who's gonna make it?